hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video I'll be showing you guys how I make my homemade buffalo chicken wings so for this you are going to be needing about four pounds of wings I have this big one here and I'm going to be using about a cup of this Frank's red hot wing sauce buffalo and you'll be needing about a teaspoon of ground black pepper and about a teaspoon and a half of my Slap Your Mama seasoning and one lime to clean my chicken and I have one stick of unsalted butter and of course you're going to be needing some oil to fry your chicken or you can bake it under the oven if you don't want yours to be fried please check the description box where I will list everything I used in this video for you guys so let's get cooking guys okay guys so before I cut my wings I like to clean my wings first and doing that I'll take my lime cut it into two and take each of the wings and just brush them with your with the lime this will clean your chicken it will also add some delicious um, flavor to your wings as well enhance the flavor to your chicken you guys let me know if you get notified when my videos are uploaded I feel like a lot of you don't get notified and if you can please hit the notification bell so you guys can be notified when I upload a new video every Sunday at 6 a.m. mountain time so please if you haven't hit that notification bell so you guys can get notified that way you guys don't miss out it's football season and I know a lot of you who watch football would love some new recipes to try all right guys I went ahead and rinsed my chicken off now it's time to cut the drum uh, um, off of my wings so you want to take your knife my nice sharp knife and my knife is so sharp it just run right through it but you want to take the knife and look for that joint where it is connected this right here so you want to break the two part the two apart and save this and save that as well and I usually just use this for stocks if I'm making like chicken stock I use this save it to use for stocks but again you want to go ahead before my knife go through you can see that where the joints meet and just cut right in between I'm telling you guys if you haven't purchased this Imaku knife oh my gosh it is so 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 good so sharp just cut right through and then once we're done with this step we are going to go ahead and pat them dry just to remove some water out of them since we are going to be frying them so I'm going to continue to do this and then I'm going to come back and show you guys the next step. You want to go ahead and grab some paper towel and remove as much of the water out of your wings as possible. So I'm just going to kind of pat them dry and transfer them into a dry bowl. If you haven't, please go follow me on Instagram and also follow me on Facebook, Lamis O, and share my Facebook page with others if you can. And also come snap with me on Snapchat. And also you can find me on Twitter and on Pinterest as well. I will leave the link for all those down in the description box for you guys to check out again I'm just petting pet drying my wings just remove as much of the liquid as you can just like this Just like that and you want to put that away to be washed of course 
And now you want to take that chicken and season it with some of that slap your mama. And if you don't have slap your mama seasoning, you can definitely just use just salt and pepper to season your chicken. Just good old salt and black pepper. And my slap your mama is, um, it has salt in it, so I don't have to add any salt. So now I'm just going to plus my chicken. Make sure it is all coated. Just like this. And now to make sure it's even, um, some of the liquid is even out a little more, you wanna take a rack, line it up with some paper, and just put your chicken just like this. I don't have one of those skinny um, cookie rack. So you wanna just go ahead and line up your chicken. And I'm going to allow this to sit for a good 20 minutes and then we can start frying our chicken. All right guys, I have my stove set to medium high and I already went ahead and put some oil into the pot and you want your oil to be nice enough to fry these but you don't want these to be burnt to the point where they are not cooked on the inside because we are going to cook them for 20 minutes. So I'm gonna start with the drums first. Drummy. Just like that. And I don't want to add too many so it's not too crowded. Be careful because the oil will pop. So about this much and you want to fry them for 20 minutes. While they are frying, I'm going to show you guys how I make the sauce for them. Alright guys, I am risking it all for you guys. So I'm using my back burner and I have my stove set to medium high. The reason I said that I'm risking it all because this could easily pop on my face, but I am about to risk it for you guys. So I'm going to take my staple butter and put it right in that pot. Stove is set on medium high and then I will allow it to melt just a little bit. And you want to go ahead and measure your Frank's sauce. Shake the bottle up before you open it, of course. And you want to go ahead and measure one cup of that sauce. This is about to be so good, you guys. My family loves football. If you guys follow me on um, any social medias, on Instagram, on Snapchat, you guys know that we make it out to Minneapolis to go see the Vikings play. So go Vikings. We had a good game this past Sunday against the Green Bay Packers. It was good, but it turned out to be a tight game. But I'll take a tie over a loss. But as the butter is melting, you wanna go ahead and take that sauce. All we're doing is really warming up that sauce with that butter because the sauce is already made obviously. So you wanna keep stirring it so it can combine as the butter melts. This shouldn't take that much time at all. So I'm going to let it do its thing, let it heat up, and I will keep stirring it. And then once that's done, we can set that to the side, that way it can be done and ready when our wings are nice and hot, so we can pour it on top of our wings. Okay, my sauce is done, and it's been about 20 minutes. And by this time, your chicken should look somewhat like this. If you like yours a little more crispier or to have a darker color, you can continue cooking it for about two more minutes. But mine are done, so I'm going to go ahead and remove them. And I cleaned half of my rack, so now I'm going to go ahead and just place them back in that rack so that oil can drip really, really nice. And then I'm going to continue frying the rest. And then, whoa, whoa, see what I mean? So once, 
Oh God, that really scared me. But anyway, so once we're done frying them, then we're gonna come and combine our sauce with our chicken. Okay, I went ahead and transferred my fried wings into this metal bowl. I don't like doing this in plastic bowls. I prefer to use either glass or metal bowls. Now I'm going to take half of the sauce and pour it to the side, not directly on top because we're going to be tossing this. So I'm using half of that sauce and just toss and put it if you are brave enough so you can coat every piece of your wings. I don't know about you guys, but my family absolutely love wings on football nights. And my kids just love buffalo wild wings, but this will save you so much money if you make these delicious wings at home. Just like this. I'm going to grab a plate to show you guys how I'm going to plate them. So I have a plate here. So all you are going to do is take your wings. It's going to be a little messy, but it's okay. You can clean your plate before you set it for your guests just like this and i have some celery sticks that i cut up just take your celery sticks even though i know my husband and my kids will not touch this at all so this is basically for me <laughs> so i'm just going to take these put them to the side or however you want to decorate them you can put some wrench to the side as well to eat with these but of course, I'm going to take one and give it a taste, which one look really good. This one look good. So I'm going to take one to give it a taste. Mm. Look at that inside. It's crispy, but yet it's so juicy. Um, I think I'll take these over Buffalo Wild Wings any day. But this will do it for this video, guys. Please, please share this video with everybody you know. And please try this um, recipe, especially on season and football nights. It's football season, of course, but try it on football nights. And if you do, tag me, Lamise O, on Instagram or Facebook. Let me know how you like this recipe. And also, I do have a honey sriracha chicken wings on this channel as well. I will leave the link for that for those wings down in the description box for you guys to check out other than that this will do it for this video guys please don't forget to subscribe to my channel comment like and share and please don't forget to hit that notification bell to get notified when i upload as always thank you guys so so much for watching and i love you guys for watching see you in my next video bye bye